Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, today we will see how to configure uh, interface monitoring in chassis cluster and how to do RG failover from one node to another node based on interface status. So earlier in the video, in the last video, I have explained you how to do the IP monitor and how to use IP monitor status to fail over the RG group from uh, one node to another node so in this video we will see how to configure interface monitor so you can see here uh, i have three rg group one is a default rg0 and node 0 is primary for the other two uh, rg group one rg group two node one is the primary All right. Let me just show you the chassis cluster configuration here. Um, you can see here SRX01 is primary, SRX02 is secondary. SRX01 is node 0, SRX02 is node 1, and here is the configuration Fab 0, Gig 002, Fab 1, 702, RET 192.168.160.100, and RET 1, the two IPs configured, one is secondary IP, and I have preempt enable on group two so that it fails over back to uh, the configured node once uh, it detects that the interface is healthy so let's get started so i'm going to monitor um before that, I will show you, like I said, for redundancy group two, node one is the primary. So I am going to monitor uh, this interface status, which is on node one, which is currently primary for redundancy uh, group one. Okay, so whenever this interface goes down, I will fail over the RG group from node one to node zero. Okay, let's configure that. And you have to define the weight here. And I'm going to define 255. So I want to, you know, the device to fail over, the RG group to fail over to node zero if this interface fails. If you have multiple interface, well, what you can do is you can create one more interface monitor with weight distributed. Let's say you have a criteria where you want to do the failover when two of the interfaces fails on a device. So in that scenario, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more interface here like this and you can distribute the weight. So if you want um, the scenario where you will do the failover, no matter um, if any of the interfaces fails, let's say 07003 fails, you have to do the failover. Then in that case, put the weight as 255, else you can distribute the weight where as in you want the failover in case of both the interface failing on a device. So in that case, you can put the weight as 150 and for 704 as 150. So which will adds up to uh, 300 minus 255, which is going to give you in negative value. So it'll do the failover. So let me show you this configuration now. Huh? 
I guess I already have this configuration. Okay, so I think I already have this configuration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the interface. So you can see here, uh, interface monitoring 703, and I'm going to, uh, the status is up, wait 255, I'm going to bring down this interface. You can see here. So you can see here, um, the RG group two, redundancy group two is now active on node zero. Okay, I'm going to roll back to one. Okay. Now that I've showed you the configuration where you want to monitor one interface, let us do the monitoring of two interface and do the failover based on you know, failure of two interface. Okay. So you can see interface is up. And so as the RG group two is not primary on node one because we have preempt enable here. You can see here, yes. So it is automatically failing over to the node configure. Now, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce one more interface, which is four. Okay, with the weight 150, like I said.
Okay, so we have two interface configured with weight 150, 150. So ideally, um, the RG group two should fail over from node one to node zero only if uh, both of the interfaces are failing on node one. You can see here node one is primary for RG group two. Let me show you the interface status as well. You can see here, I have two interfaces under monitoring on node one, both are up with weight 150, 150. So I'm going to bring down both the interfaces individually. So now this should trigger, oh, let me just do one thing. Let us just delete this for time being. And then see if it is failing over or not. Because the global threshold is 255, so it should not fail over. So you can see here, one of the interfaces down. And let's check the cluster status. It is still primary on node one. So like I said, it is not failing over. So the failover criteria is that the interfaces defined, both of them should fail over. I'm sorry. Okay, this should fail over, ideally. Let us check the status. Okay, both of them failed and should trigger the failover. You can see here, it did fail over to node zero. So that was all in this video. And 
please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if this video is helpful all right guys thank you for watching this video have a good day bye bye